Okay, so mate, you guys have um, attached the accommodation supplement in the house, but you, you can see why it is necessary. I mean, what would you like to see being done uh, with it? Sure. I mean, we understand the necessity for the accommodation supplement. When wages and incomes are kept low and rents continue to increase, people need support to pay their rent. But it is a cost that is getting out of control. So it's around a billion dollars a year at the moment. The Housing Affordability Group um, said that it would increase probably double that by or a bit more. And that's much above, and Treasury saying 1.4 billion by 2016. Treasury, uh, I just I don't know wh how they're getting their numbers. Um, the 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 housing group looked at it and said they thought it would at least double to around two and a half, close to two and a half billion by 2016. Because if wages continue to um, to stay low and rents continue to increase, then even with fewer people needing the accommodation supplement, the costs still increase because rents are continuing to go up. The only way to deal with it is to take a, a whole government approach. In, we need to deal with investment in housing, so a capital gains tax is an absolute necessity, as are other tools to deal with the housing bubble. Um, you need to, they need to increase incomes, both benefits and the minimum wage, because incomes are too low. Um, and it's, they need to engage in housing supply. Um, the, again, the housing group said that there's there's 70,000 too few homes in this country and for as long as demand far exceeds supply the costs will continue to grow for families. This is definitely a long-term fix though and so you, you're the Greens way of, 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 of fixing it you'd, you'd have to bring quite a lot of spending forward wouldn't you? Well you would and so we need to engage in a program of um, housing supply and we've suggested a state house build and more support for the community sector. It needs to be done in a, in a way that takes into account the recession and the, the, gov the, the government books. Um, so we've suggested a build of 3,000 homes over the next three years. Um, and but alongside that, you do we will have to pull some of that of that cost forward. So if we're going to be spending two and a half billion dollars in 2016 on the accommodation supplement, why don't we spend some of that now on building homes? Um, that is one way of doing. You can't it. just fix it with three thousand new homes. Though, no. So you'd have to have a bit of help along the way from from other sectors. Well, that's right. So um, the, the government engages in, uh, in a house building program. Uh, the community sector is supported to continue its great work on increasing the housing stock. There will continue to be private, the private market will continue to grow slightly. It doesn't grow very fast, but it is growing slightly. Um, the issue around building costs is a major one for increasing supply. Um, in fact, building costs are one of the biggest problems that we have for the uh, housing supply. So uh, we have to make sure we protect and invigorate the forestry industry, for example, and the building industry here in order to make it possible to have a burgeoning industry, a strong industry. Um, we still have to deal with the issues around housing investment, like the capital gains tax. Um, it, so it's not, there's no single solution to this increasing cost and the difficulty of housing affordability. And you're, sorry, you're attacking yeah. this as, as a subsidy for landlords, but, it, but, but you, I mean, you can't just take it away. Surely. Well, no, that's right. It, it is a subsidy for landlords. They can continue to increase rents, and the government will continue to supply them with that extra cash um, because they won't increase, uh, allow for the increase in wages. They won't increase the minimum wage, for example. But people are desperately in need. Some three hundred and twenty odd thousand people are getting an accommodation supplement. Without it, they have no way of paying their rent, and so you simply cannot just take it away. The it's been so embedded in our economic system that it has become a real issue. You can't leave people, families and children without a home. So it does require this whole government approach. It does require uh, short-term, medium and long-term views, vision around what housing should look like in this country. We need to have a policy in this country where every, every family is entitled to a decent, warm, dry home that they can afford. Now we live in a modern 21st century progressive nation, we're rich enough to provide this. You know, every family is entitled to live in such a home. In this country we have a serious problem with homelessness, we have a serious problem with housing affordability and we have a government who is refusing to do anything about it.